when it comes to databases if you are an application developer you might have heard about a phrase called as crud operations let's get an overview of crud operations so that we understand what it is all about from the perspective of the database crud operations are nothing but dml and queries to read the data while performing database operations so either it can be dml to insert new data into the table or update the data in the table or delete the data from the table or queries to read the data while performing database operations these are categorized as crud operations from the application development perspective in this case c stands for create however create doesn't mean that creating the tables it is actually creating the data inside the tables so from the database operations perspective it is insert to satisfy the create in crud r stands for read typically we write queries to read the data u stands for update typically we use update statement to update the data d stands for delete typically we use delete statement to delete the data however when it comes to update and delete it implicitly uses read because uh, you are trying to update the existing data or delete the existing data from the underlying table so that is uh, all about crud when it comes to uh, mapping it to database operations c which means create is actually insert just keep that in mind as part of the application development process these days we perform crud operations using rest apis so there are counterparts as part of the rest apis we use something called as get to read put or post to insert or update either delete or even post to actually delete the data so using rest apis we typically perform the crud operations unless and until you are aiming to be application development you don't need to worry too much about developing rest apis for your applications for data engineers crud operations is a phrase which is not very common we typically perform database operations directly by connecting to the databases and by interacting with the databases in batch mode and hence we don't use crud operations that often for testers and for business analysts crud operations is not that important but if you are from application development background if you are a web application developer or mobile application developer then you need to understand the perspective of crud operations and you should be able to take care of crud operations using rest apis